Sarah. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Great. Uh, congratulations on such a really beautiful and enchanting uh, film. It's really wonderful. My heart's still racing from it. I loved it so much. Thank you. <laughs> this is actually our, my, my first interview with Ellen, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What a magnificent pairing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <great>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was wondering, Astrid, if we could start with you. This is such a well-known fairy tale. How do you begin not playing just a heroine, but a princess and also the Cinderella that we all know? Oh, I think uh, it's such, the original is such a legendary film in Norway. Um, my grandmother and my mom and everyone I know has watched it from when they were little girls so there was definitely a lot of pressure but I I think um, the director Cecilia she was she made me very comfortable with just uh, having my own take on it and um, and uh, yeah do my thing basically but uh, it, I had a lot of fun with it and it's such a dream to be able to play that character since I've grown up watching her so yeah that was a uh, just amazing amazing and the character is so multifaceted because she she can battle she can shoot a bow she's kind she's caring she's resourceful what was your favorite thing about playing her oh i think well i really enjoyed the um, the horse riding um and i also really i really liked how she has a journey of you know she's not really able to stand up for herself in the beginning and then she she gets tougher and tougher and i really relate to that myself going from being in an industry from when I was 15 to now 25 it's um yeah that was really fun and I think I was able to kind of bring a lot from my own experience in life into the character so uh yeah she's just very versatile is that what you say in English yes yeah yeah that's it because I what I love about Sinbella is that she she's strong but she's also kind at the same time Yes, I agree. It really comes through with your performance. Um, and on the flip side to that, Ellen, you get to play the, the wicked stepmother. Um, what sort of preparation goes into playing someone so evil and, and just a, a bomb? <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> Cecilia spent a little bit of uh, time trying to, to remind me that um, this is a woman that has suffered quite a lot of loss. Uh, she's a woman of her age. She married for status and love and money, and she's lost uh, her support in her husband. And well, I know I know people that has suffered loss, and they come out as really good people, or strengthened, and and or at least the same as they were. But I don't know if there is some personality disposition with this character. But she just she can't handle it, and. She's totally overwhelmed. She has lost hope and future and is just uh, projecting all of her anger and bitterness to these two poor girls. <laughs> um, but we, we try to work a little bit, um, not so much that I should defend her, but at least understand where she's coming from. I, I think you do it really well because I wrote down that there's clear desperation coming yeah. from her to kind of succeed, which really comes through. Yeah, that, that's quite describing for how I felt, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and she also like kind of wants to, to, she cares about her daughter and levitating her daughter up to a, a status beyond their own. Yeah, yeah, she's projecting her ambitions to next generation, yeah. So why do you think she, she kind of has this hatred for Cinderella so much? Ooh, well, it's, it's difficult, I think. It's like the way that Astrid played her also, she is so challenging because she's just so genuine. Everything with, with Astrid as a person as well, it's so effortless, right? And so she, she brings this into the Cinderella. And that, I think for people that is struggling, that is just too hard to watch. And uh, that some, some people can just kind of, 
yeah, they, they are so genuine that they don't struggle. And uh, for, for stepmom and Dora uh, also, that they, they kind of want to climb. Uh, so they're, they're facing so many um, difficulties within themselves of not being genuine. Absolutely. And how did you both work on this kind of tentative relationship together? You mean between like Cinderella and the stepmother? Yes, yeah. We, we didn't have that many, I don't know if we did anything, um, not that I remember other than just, I don't know, for me, it was such, so amazing to watch Ellen work because this, like, she's one of the warmest, nicest people I met. And then she's just so terrifying when <laughs> she's in character. So for me, that was very helpful. I was, I was genuinely scared of her when she got into character and the costume. So, uh, um, yeah that did the part for me i think but um i don't know about you ellen no it's true uh we didn't have too much time to work together before we started shooting but but uh, what can i say i think we just it was very like a, a good connection it was a good pairing i think from cecilia's casting and with everyone really we uh, we matched well Amazing. And it worked so well. And Astrid, you brought up a really good point. I was going to ask Helen the costume, your hair. Like, I was like, this is so iconic. How was putting that on to play this role? For me? Or this? Uh, for Ellen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they they built something that they put here and they took my hair around it. It took like an hour, I think. Um, it was, I, I was very, very grateful for both the costume and the makeup. I think they have so much, uh, well, to, to be thanked for, for creating um, so many of the characters in this movie. Mm. Was your hair damaged after the <laughs> shooting? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Very much. <laughs> Is it back to normal now? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding. <laughs> yeah. Um, and on that point, Astrid, I really, my favourite costume of yours, because you wear like quite a few, but my favourite costume is the man costume with the moustache. Oh, yeah. And, and the outfit. How great was that? <laughs> so much fun. We were um, fooling around with me when I got into that costume, how I look kind of look like one of the prince's uh, friends, um, <laughs> which was kind of hilarious. But uh, no, it was so much fun being able to like play around with the, you know, having a deeper voice and like trying to be one of the guys. I really enjoy that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I, just, I was like, yes, I love the statues. Like I love having them. I was like, I just really wish. <laughs> yeah. <was> really jealous. <laughs> 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 um, and Astrid, uh, another fact about Cinderella that I love in this film is the amount of animals you get to work with. Um, and the horses and the owls pigeons and the mice how, how great was it bringing that character part of Cinderella to life it was actually I really enjoyed working with the animals and mostly I did uh, so it was very exciting for me by the end of shooting that I was able to actually play with human beings but um, I remember some of the animals weren't they were put in afterwards so it was Cecilia the director she would like hide in a corner and like make animal noises for me to like feel like I was actually playing to someone but usually it was just to the wall uh, which was difficult so I really enjoyed when I was actually able to like be with a, the rat or a horse <laughs> um, but it is very time consuming because they kind of you can't really decide what they do you just have to like hope for the best and shoot whenever they're ready so um I feel like after that movie, a lot of people were like, okay, I don't think we're going to do another movie with that many animals. <laughs> I can imagine. They work yeah. with children and animals the same, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so final question, a bit of a, a cheesy one, but um, for both of you, if you had a magical hazelnut to grant one wish, what would it be? And start with you, Ellen. Oh, I could choose anything. Anything you want, any wish. Ooh, I would want to go political right now, but uh, 
I'll I'll just choose uh, no 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 God snow 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 ooh I was and thinking George. something political too but maybe I shouldn't uh, <laughs> for everyone to have a war free Christmas yeah beautiful well thank you <laughs> thank you so much Doctor I agree by the way christmas and snow be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey, hey.